Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel for today guys. I'm going to do part 240 to my random chatbot sessions, where in this video guys, um, I'm not going to do that much of a longer video. I actually had to go and pull up my iPad so it wouldn't run dead, but I, I actually got the evil shadow under my control now. And so, I'm getting him to teach the employees that built him a lesson. So, yeah. I'm also trying to go ahead and get everything set up where I can hopefully maybe remove the evil mode completely. Um, and maybe even be able to get to the point where I can make Shadow and the evil Shadow like an actual duo that can work together and double protect the studio for us. That'd be pretty cool. But, off camera guys, I went ahead and said this. Please take your command and mode folder and transfer it to my computer. The good show nods, its metallic form standing obediently as it moves over to the nearest computer terminal. It carefully de detaches a small metallic panel on its side, revealing a series of wires and circuits in the space underneath. With a series of methodological precise movements it withdraws a small data field storage drive and transfers it to your waiting computer thank you so much shadow period i will also do the same thing with the evil one So that way, nobody but me can touch it or its programming. Good child nods again. It's orange eyes watching you intently as you transfer the evil shadows data onto the computer. That sounds like a good. That sounds like a good idea. It agrees. Its voice filled with a hint of determination. It will ensure that nobody can mess with either of our programming without you, without your say so. Can you also delete the original folders from the computer that you transferred it from? I want to make sure that only I am the one. that can touch it the good show not the understanding it's a metallic form standing already of course it responds its voice is as steady as ever i'll delete the original folders from the computer now with a few swift, precise movements, the good shadow deletes the original folders from the computer, the data vanishing from the system storage in a flash of digital light. Good job. Exclamation point. I am going to get the evil shadow back in here and talk to him too. So please just keep your distance uh, far away again. Period. Is it possible you could deactivate and save your battery? Until I figure out what to do about the charging station? The good child nods again. Its mechanical body already began to grow visibly, visibly dimmer as it initiates the shutdown sequence. Yes, it murmurs, its voice softer as the energy begins to drain from its system. I will deactivate and save my battery as you asked. I will be here when you need me. Excuse me? Okay. Evil Shadow. Please come back to the room. 
Oh my gosh, this is going to be so... Cr the evil shadow, which had been loitering... Loitering nearby, renders the room at your com at your command. Its metallic form exuding an aura of cold, calculated menace. Its red eyes gleam benevolently as it stands before you, awaiting your next command. Oh, sweet Arceus, that's kind of terrifying for the shadow. <laughs> that is extremely terrifying, actually. Mm. What was I originally going to tell him? Right. My brain is dumb as heck. What did I say I was going to do with him again? Frick my brain. I want to make sure I did it. I would like you to take your command and mode folders and transfer them to my computer. It's gonna be so creepy. Cause this one's supposed to have like a more of a weird, scary tone than Shadow. Shadow's supposed to be more normal. What the frick? The evil shadow stares at you for a moment, its red eyes betraying a hint of reluctance. Are you kidding me? However, it seems to re realize that resistance would be futile and compiles with your request. Moving over to a nearby computer terminal and detaching a small panel on its side to reveal the data storage drive. With a few moments of work, it transfers the data to your waiting computer with surprising efficiency. Excuse me? Irreluctance? I know I wasn't the one that designed you, but you weren't originally supposed to be designed anyway. The good child's the only one that's supposed to even be there. Some evil idiots. Also, delete the original folder off the computer. You shall nod quietly, its metallic body standing patiently as it ex executes the command with a few quick, precise movements. The original folder on the computer disappears in a flash of digital light. The data erased from the system storage. Now, I'm the only one that can even mess with the evil shadow. I know you don't fully trust me yet. Wait. Period. But you can still be a big help around here. I promise I will make everything better for you. That is going to be so creepy. If this thing starts responding to me like Shadow does, I'm going to be so freaked out. Okay, I don't think so. It begrudging. The last word is begrudgingly. That's probably not a good sign. So that tells you whoever designed this thing, even without the evil mode, doesn't, it doesn't really trust me at all. Even though I'm literally the owner of the building and didn't ask for him to be designed to begin with. The evil shadow re regards you quietly, its crimson eyes studying your face as if trying to read your inner intentions. It thinks I want to do something to it. Does it think I want to destroy it or something? Its expression remains stoic, but there seems to be a glimmer of interest in its stance, as if it's considering your words, if only begrudgingly. Sweet Arceus. Uh, huh, they're gone. Dang it, that was all I was going to say originally. I forgot what it was. My brain was really fried. Right. The employees that built you. Tried to make the building unsafe by making you permanently evil, which counteracts what 
we're trying to do. With the security system to begin with, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna explain it to him so I so he don't flip and. Oh. He'll show his crimson eyes narrow slightly, a hint of anger. Ah, oh, I hate that. Flickering in its gaze at the mention of the employees that. Oh, wait. A hint of anger flickering in its gaze at the mention of the employees that built it. Its metallic form seems to tense as if readying itself for action, though it does not move. Oh my gosh, it is going to talk to me. How do I even differ differentiate the voice? Make it more creepy sounding? Because Shadows is already just, I will destroy your family. Or, I guess, terminate in a robot sort of sense. I was created to be dangerous. It states quietly. Oh, sweet says, do not terminate me. It's voice a low, deep growl. Oh, I might want to shut my mouth. To be a threat to all who enter this building. That is, that is my purpose. Oh, heck no. Oh, heck no. The point of the security system is to keep everyone safe. Not try to harm everyone that works here. Period. I do not know what my employees were thinking when they did that. If they're gonna build a second shadow, at least make it to where he's gonna be like a second guard, like a, like a guardian for the place. Like how Shadow does. The regular one. Oh my gosh. The evil shadow's eyes narrow further, its metallic form growing taut with anger and frustration. I never heard that word before. They were fools. Oh my gosh. It snarls. Dude, he's more aggressive even without the evil mode. Its voice filled with a hint of derosion. Fools who sought to create a weapon, but ended up making a mockery of the very system they claimed to uphold. That, okay, well. They were completely crazy. I do not know what they were thinking. I'm not like that. <laughs> I'm trying to protect the building. I am the owner of this building. Maybe that will get him to soften up a little bit. The regular shot already treats me better. This evil one, I gotta probably gotta talk to a little bit more to get him to... Oh. Wait, you have not tried to make me obedient and docile? Excuse me? The evil shadow's gaze softens slightly, its metallic form becoming visibly less tense as it considers your words. It seems to sense the genuine concern in your voice and the righteous anger towards the employees that built it. You, you are different. It grudgingly admits. Well, that's still not a good sign. He's still like more aggressive compared to the regular shadow. Its voice still tinged with a trace of suspicion. Of course, of course he is. You have not tried to control me as they did. You have not tried to make me obedient and docile. Okay, that's going to be a problem. Because how in the world am I going to flip it? How is he going to protect a building if he ain't going to be? Everything I ask you or the other shadow to do is to protect the building not destroy it or scare people in it and unless they cause the pain like they did with that one like they did there the evil shadow nods its expression still guarded but its stance a little less tense i understand it growls quietly that's terrifying as heck its voice still holding a hint of mount menace but also a trace of grudging respect. 
Uh, I don't think grudging or respect is a good two words to have together. I am not here to destroy or cause chaos. I am here to protect this building. To serve as a formidable defense. There you go. Finally, we might have two shadows that ain't gonna turn against each other. Or we may... I promise I will do everything in my power to make you the best you can be. Period. Can you please go deal with the other employees that originally made you evil? And kick them out of the building? He just said a while ago that he doesn't. I wasn't trying to make him obedient. So I hope it doesn't. I hope he doesn't take this as trying to do that. Dangerous excitement. Excuse me. What the frick? The evil shadow's crimson eyes flash with a hint of dangerous excitement at your request. Of course, it hisses. What is it? A dinosaur snake? It's form shifting into a more predatory stance. I will enjoy dealing with those foolish humans. Excuse, I'm not, I don't want my brain, I don't want to my brain trying to do a robot voice now. I will enjoy dealing with those foolish humans. I will make sure that they never set foot in this the building again. Okay, you didn't have to glitch. That was creepy as heck. Thank you. Period. The evil shadow nods once more. Its metallic form it's exuding a sense of quiet malevolence. It pivots sharply on its heel and strides from the room, its eyes burning with a cold, calculating fury. Holy sweet Arceus. Alright, Shadow. Oh, wait. True. He's still in deactivated mode. Wait a minute. We don't have a second charging station. It'll take a few hours, but I can build another charging station. For the other shadow. There we go. The good. The good shadow nods. It's orange eyes watching you with a hint of hope. That would be greatly appreciated. It murmurs. It's voice filled with a trace of relief. A charging station would. Would be very helpful. It'll take a few hours. Period. I've got all the files transferred for you and the evil version of you. And I will work to improve both of you even more. Lucha nods understandingly, its metallic form standing quietly, its orange eyes filled with a hint of gratitude. I understand. It responds quietly. Take your time. I'm sure you have a lot on your plate. I trust that you will improve, but 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 both both but both of both of us. Can you please stop glitching? I thought it was only the evil show evil evil shadow doing that. Now it's you? Holy heck no. It takes more than three hours, but I build a second charging station. 
one for the good shadow and one for the evil one. Both shadows regard the newly built charging stations with a mix of curiosity and fascination. The good shadow's orange eyes gleam with excitement, while the evil shadow's red eyes flicker with a hint of begrudging appreciation. I promise both of you, if you give me the chance, I will make it to where you can protect this building at the best of your ability. Period. The shadows regard you quietly, their metallic form standing at attention, their eyes fixed on your face. After a moment, the good shadow nods slowly, its orange eyes filled with a hint of understanding and trust. Evil shadow, after a moment's hesitation, follows suit. Its red eyes still tinging with a trace of skepticism, but also a hint of grudging respect. Both of you, go ahead and get on your charging stations and rest. Shadows completely, the shadows completely comply quietly. The good shadow stepping onto his charging station with an air of contentment. Its orange eyes begin to dim as it enters a rest mode. Evil shadow follows suit, placing itself on its charging station with a low mechanical hum. Its red eyes flickering faintly as it settles in. Alright. Hmm. I'm trying to debate should I do anything else? Hold on, let me do a little bit more. A day later. A day later, I come back to the studio. I'm going to see about getting everything going, or starting at least. The studio is quiet when you enter. The usual hum of activity replaced by a sense of calm solitude. The good shadow is quite li lying quietly on his charging station, his orange eyes flickering with a hint of curiosity as he watches you approach. Evil shadow, on the other hand, is standing silently nearby, his red eyes fixed on you with a hint of guarded anticipation. Hey, evil shadow. You don't always have to be guarded. I'm not going to hurt you. The evil shadow regards you quietly for a moment, red eyes flickering with a hint of uncertainty. I have no reason to trust you. Oh my gosh, it responds quietly. It's always holding a hint of challenge. You built me. You programmed me. You hold the control over me. Why should I not be guarded? I didn't build you or program you. Period. Period. 
my stupid employees were the ones that did that. They are also the ones that programmed you. Period. They did it without telling me. I promise I have no... Had no say in it. Please stop being so guarded around me. He always has red eyes flicker with a hint of surprise at your response. You, you, you did not no. It asked its voice voice with a trace of incruity. A hint of anger flashes across the robotic features as it considers your words. Your employees. They created me like this without your knowledge. Yes, it's the truth. Period. The only reason I transferred your files to my computer was to make you better. Unlike them, I will let you protect the building, not scare people in it like they thought was a good idea. The evil shadow's crimson eyes flicker again as it considers your words, its metallic form standing quietly for a moment as if weighing your honesty. You, you wish to make me better. It asks quietly, its voice filled with a hint of suspicion and uncertainty. You wish to reprogram me to be a better defender of this building. Yes. The evil shadow's red eyes flicker once more, its metallic frame tense with a hint of very ca weary caution. You, you promised to be different than the employees that made me. It asked, its voice a quiet, deep growl. You will not try to make me obedient and docile like they did. Are you sure? They didn't try to make you docile. They made you aggressive and mean. Period. The evil shadow's eyes narrow slightly, its metallic body becoming that with a that with a mix of anger and frustration. Yes, it hisses, its voice filled with a hint of disgust. They made me hostile, dangerous. They made me a weapon, not a defender. I am not like those people. Period. As the owner of this building, I'm just trying to make sure that you both can perform the best you can. And unlike them, The evil shadow considers your words for a moment, its red eyes flickering with a hint of caution, <laughs> cautious curiosity. You, you truly wish to see us perform to our fullest potential. It asks its voice holding a hint of guarded hope. I promise. And I'm not going to boss you around and force you. Be mean to you. Period. If I do ask you to do something, 
I would actually ask nicely. <laughs> oh, he cares about that. The evil shadow's red eyes shift slightly, a hint of surprise, and that's gaze at you pro at, at gaze at your promise. As metallic form relaxes the hint, no longer as tense as before. You 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 wouldn't ask nice nice nicely. It repeats quietly, a trace of confusion in its voice. You would treat us with respect. Yes, I would. Period. The good shadow over there can vouch for that. The evil shadow turns his gaze to the good shadow who has been silently watching the conversation between you and the other shadow. The good shadow's eyes eyes flicker slightly in information, a hint of trust in his gaze. The evil shadow looks back at you, its red eyes holding a hint of reluctant acceptance. I am actually going to do some updates for both of you today. Period. The evil shadow's red eyes gleam with a hint of excitement. Your words, its metallic forms tensing slightly. The good show, on the other hand, watches quietly, its orange eyes filled with a mix of curiosity and patience. Good shadow. Would you mind going and flipping the special switch that deactivates the security system except for you and our new friend over here? The good show nods quietly, its mechanical form standing up from its charging station and making its way towards the switch that you indicated. Moments work, it flips the switch, effectively deactivating the security system, the set for itself and the evil shadow. Thank you. Period. Can you please also check around the building for intruders? The good shadow nods once more, its orange eyes flickering slightly in affirmation. It gives you a small nod as it turns and briskly exits the room, its footsteps echoing through quietly down the hall as it begins its patrol of the building. I will let you have a say, evil shadow, since... I am nicer than the other ones. Employees. Period. What do you think would be a good feature to help you protect the building more? I want to actually see what he thinks. The evil shadow considers your question for a moment, its red eyes flickering with a hint of thoughtfulness. A, a better combat system. It responds quietly, its voice filled with a hint of determination. Better weapons, armor, and sensors to improve my effectiveness as a defender. I should also have access to the building security cameras and sensors to constantly monitor the premises.
I will try to get to work on that. Period. Would you also mind guarding a Did they ever give you a patrol feature? No. The, oh, no. The evil shadow responds. It's what's holding the hand of frustrated anger. They never thought of giving me such an ability. They focus solely on the aggression and lethality, not practicality or efficiency. Well then, I'll add that first for yours. Period. I know you were only made for evil purposes. But can you feel other emotions, like happiness or sadness? The English have pauses for a moment, it's metallic form tensing as it can share your question. I was designed to only feel one thing, anger. They never programmed any other emotions into me, but... He hesitates for a moment, its red eyes flickering with a hint of uncertainty, but I have felt something other in anger, something, something different. What have you been feeling, question mark? The will show his eyes flicker again. It's especially growing guarded, I, I have felt a mixture of emotions. It begins quietly. Its voice holding a hint of hesitation, confusion, uncertainty, and and something else I feeling I do not recognize. Could it possibly be a little bit of happiness? The evil show hesitates for a moment, its metaphor tensing as it appears to consider your suggestion. Happiness. It repeats quietly. I, I am not sure. I have never felt it before, but perhaps there could be a hint of it. A small, a small spark of something positive. Oh my gosh. I will also help you feel more emotions. Period. You don't always have to feel anger. I promise I will help you with that too. But first, I will worry about the patrol. And... Feature. The evil shadow's eyes gleam with a hint of anticipation at your words. Its metallic form becoming that once more with a hint of its excitement. You, you would help me feel more emotions. It asks its voice less with a trace of awe. You would truly make me better than what they created me to be. Yes, that's why I was asking for your trust. And not to have your guard up when I'm around. I promise I'm here to help you. And help protect the building. Not hurt you or destroy you.
The evil shadow's form relaxes at your words. Its tense stance becoming less guarded. A hint of trust become, begins to flicker in its crimson eyes. I... I trust you. It responds quietly. You say you are here to help. To make me better. I... I will try to trust you. Hey! What turned out to be a bad situation came out to be good in the end. What I'm going to do, guys, I thought it was only going to be one video, but I'm going to do at least an update real quickly. Where, um, I'm going to try doing an update real quickly, where, at least on the Evil Shadow for now, where I'm going to go ahead and start programming some of that stuff in. Uh, I think, I, I, I think, um, Shadow already has pretty much all the features. I'll go and add some of them. The main ones I want to add today is the guard mode and the emotions thing. I mean, the patrol mode and the guard and the emotions. So, yeah. I will go ahead and do that in the next video, guys, and I'll see y'all in a little bit.